Hello, and welcome back to Lee Reader. My name is Lee, if you hadn't already guessed, and today I'm doing a book review. So the book I'm going to be reviewing today has been talked about quite a lot around booktube and in the book world in general, and I only finished it about a week ago, but I enjoyed it so much that I just wanted to talk to you guys about it today. And the book is All the Bright Places by Jennifer Neven. Now if you watched my last few videos, you know that this was on my February TBR list and was also in my February wrap-up, and I loved this book so much. I really, really enjoyed it. It's probably one of the best YA books I have read in a long, long time. It's a great story, it has wonderful characters, it's as joyful as it is heartbreaking, it's just got all the best aspects of a wonderful YA novel. And like I said, I know a lot of people are raving about this, but the hype is well deserved. This is a wonderful, wonderful book. So the book follows Theodore Finch, who is a complex and confused teenager who one day goes up to a bell tower in his school and tries to take his own life. While he's up there debating, however, he meets someone else up there who is also considering taking her own life. That girl is Violet Markey, who recently lost her sister in a tragic car accident. And though Theodore is also up there to take his own life, he convinces Violet not to do it, and she climbs back over the fence. He then follows in her footsteps and they leave the bell tower together. However, the story spreads that Violet Markey is a saviour and she saved Theodore's life but no one knows it was actually the other way round. Now, I don't want to ruin the entire book for you, so I'm going to stop my synopsis there. Now, as I said, it is one of the best YA novels I have read in a long, long time. It is beautifully, beautifully written. I love, love how Jennifer Neven has painted the characters of Theodore and Violet. They just work so well together. They're so opposite, yet so the same. It's so wonderfully weird, but their relationship and how it just grows is just truly magnificent. I think Jennifer Neven has done a wonderful job of creating two great characters, both of whom you feel for, um, because at the start you're thinking it's very much Theodore's story, but the story very much changes and it becomes Violet's story. It's very much all interwoven, and you just fall in love with them both. The book is written in alternating chapters, so you have a couple from Theodore, a couple from Violet and that to me is great. I love when books are written like that because you get to hear everyone's perspective um, but it's also good because there is no sort of rep repetition of passages so you don't hear one chapter from Theodore and then you don't hear exactly the same from uh, Violet. Basically it's like a continuous story which I love because I hate when books when you have to hear everything from one person's point of view and then have to hear everything from someone else's point of view and it's exactly the same because you can pretty much get the feeling so I love the continual story that Jennifer Neven has created. I also I also love the character development because Theodore Finch is seen as a bit of a weirdo and Violet Markey's friends and you know are usually the group who kind of bully him and towards as the book goes on Violet actually kind of starts standing up for Theodore Finch because she finds out that he's not so weird after all. Another thing I liked is the importance of the other characters in the book because a lot of Theodore and Violet's actions are reactions to things that are happening from their family or friends which I think is wonderful and it's very true to life. The only person who I would have liked to know more about is Finch's dad, who is, comes across very angry, he's a very violent man, and it doesn't really explain why he has these tendencies, um, and I would really like to find, I would have loved to find out why his dad is always very, very angry. But apart from that, all the other characters are wonderfully, wonderfully written. The book also takes you on the unexpected, and when I finished the book, I just wasn't expecting it to go that way, and I was a little bit heartbroken, I will admit. I'm not going to tell you what happens in the end, but it's just, the way it was written was just, I don't know, it was very, very creative and very beautiful and very, very well done. Um, so I just, I really, really liked the ending. I wasn't happy with the ending, trust me, but I really liked how it went. You become so invested in both Theodore and Violet, I think it's just a great book. It really just throws you in and you just get captivated by everything that is going on. Overall, I'm going to give the book... A four out of five stars. Like I said, there were a couple of characters who I would have liked to know a little bit more about, including Finch's dad, but the book as a whole is just a great book. It's a really good read, so if you go and get the chance, please, please go and read this book. And if you have read All the Bright Places, let me know what you think. Please don't post any spoilers for those who haven't read it, but let us discuss uh, what you thought of the book, what your opinions were, and we, we can have just a great discussion down in the comments below. So that's it for today's video. I hope you're all well. I hope you have a lovely weekend and lovely week. I'm actually away this weekend, so there will be no video on Monday, but my next video will be online on Thursday. I hope you're all wonderful. Have a great weekend. Goodbye! End
end of the video bit. Yes, so like I said, I'm actually going away this weekend and I'm not back until Monday night, so I won't have time to film and upload Monday. So my next video will be on Thursday. I'm sorry this is a day late. Um, I did say this would go up Thursday and it's now Friday, but um, I've been working all week and again, I didn't have time to film and this is the first free time I had. So I hope you're all well. I hope you liked my review. Um, I went to an author signing the other day and got his signed book. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I am going to use it for my 500 subscriber giveaway, which I'm planning on doing. Um, again, thank you for everyone who has subscribed, um, and it's very lovely to see you, and I hope you're enjoying your stay. Um, yes, I hope you, all of you are well. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for commenting, as always, and I will see you next Thursday with a brand new video. I hope you see you again. Goodbye.